it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So it's that time of month again. So we're not quite ready, we're nearly ready. It's been worse than this before, but when I keep slapping my hair back, I can see all my little silvery strands. Can you see them? Um, I probably could have got away with another week, but I've bought a different colour and I really want to try it. So uh, the last two times I've coloured my hair, I've used this Garnet Good, but I've used the auburn one so it's like an auburny brown color i think it was 5.5 um and i love it it's really really nice but it's gone a little bit gingery i don't know if you can see it. it's gone a bit like orange although it doesn't look orange on camera um when i'm in the daylight it's a bit redder than i wanted it so so i've bought the mochaccino brown one to try so it's number six so it shouldn't go too dark she says I really should have just bought the other one but the colours on the box do look quite nice and it's still like a reddy brown but not quite as red as the auburn colour so I was quite curious to try it <clears throat> so I love these colours well I've loved using the 5 one the 5.5 um, it covers my grey and I've been really happy with it my hair's been nice and it's just I really enjoyed them the only thing is they're a little bit messy to put on they're a bit runny and you do need two boxes even on my length hair which is only short um, if you've got real long hair you need about four boxes um, you don't get a lot in it I don't really know why um, but they are really really good they're slightly more expensive than a normal hair dye um, but they're about they're like £12 or something each but you can get them on offer sometimes um, anyway so I'm going to put it on my roots first um, and then run it through the ends and hopefully it'll go a nice mochaccino brown colour Fingers crossed. Right, so this is it before. I've tried to get it in as much daylight as possible. Um, there's my roots. You can see my bits of grey and stuff. Right, let's go get it on. Right, so in the box, you don't get a fluffy dog. In the box, move out of the way, don't to die you, Brian. Um, you get the developer cream, uh, the colouring cream, some gloves, a little stirrer, and your sheer butter. So that's for after. You get loads in that as well, it's really good. Um, so you literally have to put that and that in there, mix it up with that and then put it on your roots. You can, well some people have used this to help them put it on. You can get a brush or you can just use your fingers, I just use my fingers. Um, the only thing, annoying thing is you do need a pair of scissors to cut this. So always remember you've got a pair of scissors handy. So this is it and then you just stir it up. I told you you don't get much lot. I've got the side of the tub. <laughs> it just gets a tiny bit in the bottom. It doesn't really, really smell or anything. It's not really strong. It takes your breath away or anything like that, like some hair colours do. But it is quite runny. I don't know if you can see. Look, it's quite a sloppy consistency. Wow, it's on my roots. So I would leave it on my roots. It says 20 minutes. I normally leave it on for like 15 and then put it through my ends for 15. But it is like a bit of a personal thing. But they do recommend 20 on your roots, 10 on your ends. It's on all over. So I've got about... Five minutes left, then we'll wash it off. Fingers crossed, it don't go too dark. Right, I've washed it off. So now I'm gonna give it a little trim and then dry it, and then I'll show you the results. I feel like a drama. Right, the bit that everybody fast forwards to. Da, 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 da. It looks dark in here, it's really not dark. Um, It's got a really nice shine to it. So I've literally curled it a tiny bit, but I've put no product on it just to show the color and the shine. Um, it's still quite red, uh, feels really nice, but let's go and have a look outside in the pure daylight. So, this is it in the shade, and then also we'll get into the sunshine. It's quite red when you're outside. Just, um, show you the It's pretty even all the way through. It's very red though. It feels really nice. Obviously I've cut some off it. And that's it. Back inside. 
not sure if it looks like the box. Um, but it's really, really nice. Honestly, it's such a lovely home hair colour and it's so easy to use. Obviously, just bear in mind, it's a little bit messy, uh, but it washes off your head, doesn't smell horrible, makes your hair feel nice. Um, I just really like them. Do I like this colour better than the other colour? Uh, I'm not sure. I do like the Ready Albany colour. Um, but yeah, I do like it. It's nice. It's all even all the way through. Yeah, it's lovely. So, I hope this was useful if you're thinking of colouring your hair. It's quite funny because obviously over the years I've done an awful lot of um, home hair like videos, home hair colours. Um, and I've had some people like message me and gone, every hair guy I look at, it's you. <laughs> so I've tried so many different colours. Um, obviously the John Frieda I really like as well and the Ole ones I really like. But I do really like these. So I definitely do recommend them. They're very easy to use and I really like them. So I hope this one was useful as well as all the others that I've done over the years. Um, God knows what we're going to use on it next time. So anyway, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you. So if you do enjoy hair colour videos and a bit of real life because we do make daily videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you watch my daily videos, you'll see what it washes out to. So I presume it will wash to a little bit lighter than this. But yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you soon.